What's going on guys? Welcome back to Northside Rep House. I'm Andrew and this week we're in sunny Orlando, Florida. Alright guys, so this is an example of an American alligator. We could tell it's an alligator because of the roundness of the snout. It's about two years old, judging by the size of it. From this distance, we can't tell if it's a male or female. We would have to tell that by putting your finger up the cloaca, which is the exit point where the stool and urate come out. Right now, it's opening its mouth to release uh, heat, much like a dog would do for panting. And it's on the bank right here sunbathing because it is a uh, colder day today and it's trying to raise its body temperature. Once the temperature of the environment gets so hot, it will return back into the water to cool down. Now the, the American alligator does share a uh, ecosystem or a habitat with the American crocodile, which they're sometimes confused by. But the American crocodile is a lot less common to see. So we took a video yesterday of me uh, saving an alligator from a fisherman that caught it while fishing. And we'll play that right now. It's not the best quality because it was kind of spur of the moment, but you guys can look at that right now. I got pliers if you need it. So this guy actually accidentally caught the alligator when he was fishing and the hook was actually lodged in the hind leg of the alligator. So I was trying to pull it up onto land where I could actually hold the alligator in a safe way where it wouldn't bite me. Unfortunately, it was also on a steep bank, so I didn't want to get too close to Put it your because foot I didn't here. want to get bit. Alligators have one of the strongest bite forces of all animals, and even a bite from this size one would still hurt a lot. Now, as you can see, I'm being very careful while around an alligator you want the because it is wild. And right there, you saw me grab the back of the alligator's neck so it couldn't turn around and bite me. And there I am removing the go. hook from the back Thanks. of the leg. And there you go. It's <laughs> it, It's all blown out, it looks. Because of the quality of the last video, here's a few pictures of me with the alligator. It's about two and a half feet, but it's still a dangerous animal. Hopefully you guys can see the teeth from this video. But you can really see the mouth open and you can almost see right down the throat. Now alligators do have a flap that they, that they can close while eating underwater so that they don't drown while swallowing food. Now alligators do eat primarily stuff in the water and rarely attack on land. That's why you're able to get closer to an alligator than a crocodile on land. Now its far eye just opened and it was closed before because that's the direction of the sun. It doesn't want to be blinded by the sun like you and I. When alligators swim underwater they actually have a flap of skin that goes over their eye and that acts as a goggle to allow them to see underwater. Now this alligator is about four feet in length, so that gives you an idea of how big it is. You can also see the well-developed scoots or spikes on the back of its tail that allow it to swim properly. 
when alligators swim, they rely heavily on their tail as a propeller to help them move through the water. Now this is a different alligator from the one we helped yesterday because of the size difference. The one we helped yesterday was about two to two and a half feet. So multiple alligators can share the same waterway or the same pond, depending on the size of it. Now you never want to get too close to an alligator that is wild unless you have been trained or you have experience with crocodilians like I do. And hopefully I can zoom into this so that you guys can see the webbing in the toes of the back leg. And this helps the alligator move through the water quite easily in shallower waters as well as deeper water. The American alligator is really common in the southern United States, primarily Florida and Louisiana. And you don't want to get too close to a body of water just in case there is one inside. You can see how far I am from the water. And I'm constantly looking in the shallower water just in case. But how alligators and primarily crocodiles, how they eat is they wait under the water just close enough where they can strike and they propel themselves out of the water very quickly to grab prey, to drag it underwater, to drown it and then swallow it. Now unlike the lizards that we have at home, alligators will rip off chunks big enough for them to swallow whole and then swallow it slowly over time. So this alligator would probably feed on smaller animals that come to the water's edge to drink, or fish, or small mammals such as mice and stuff like that. They could also feed on amphibians like frogs and like frogs. You can also see that they have claws. Alligators do dig to, in the colder months to hibernate or brewmate while the temperatures warm up like they are now. You can also see how they look like a log while floating in the water. Now this animal looks like it's armored and these scales are designed to be very tough so that the animal does not get injured. Like the hook you saw me pull out of the alligator yesterday, they're able to deal with that kind of injury without a problem. Now you can see just his eyes are exposed and they do that so that they're mostly submerged and that they can still see 
incoming predators and food that comes to the water's edge. Alligators are carnivores and they, da and they don't eat plant material at all. All right, guys, I think that's the end of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And my brother Taylor was filming this video, so let me know what you guys think of his filming skills. And don't forget to head over to our Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook pages, and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.